Kenya ni mojawapo ya mataifa mengi ya bara la Afrika ambayo yananuia kuimarisha chumi zao kwa kuanzisha sekta imara ya utengenezaji bidhaa. Na hii ndio maana katika hotuba yake baada ya kuchaguliwa kwa kipindi cha pili, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliweka utengenezaji bidhaa kwa mojawapo ya ajenda kuu za nguzo nne za maendeleo. I call them the big four. Food security, affordable housing, manufacturing and affordable health care for all. Kenya ina fursa kubwa mno ya kutengeneza bidhaa za sekta mbalimbali. Mbali. Sekta moja ambayo ina uwezo mkubwa katika kufanikisha azma hii ni ile ya viwanda vya nguo. Tangu mwaka wa 1990 mfumo wa uchumi huru ulipoanza kulizuka shida kubwa kutokana na kufurika hapa nchini na nguo kutoka mataifa ya kigeni. This challenge is the imports. The textiles have been coming from China, India, Pakistan. Uh, some of it substandard, the rejects of all the world. Kenya has become a dumping ground of textiles not today, over the last 30 years. For, for the Kenyan industry to, to thrive, we need to look at uh, some of the imports that come into the country, um, whether they are substandard products in the textile industry, products that are being dumped, i.e. being sold at below production price, and even the case of uh, second-hand clothes and shoes, uh, because these products give an unfair competition to the existing uh, uh, textile and apparel industry, and without that being addressed, it is hard to grow. Uh, the market share of, of the textile and apparel sector. Kuliko sababisha viwanda vya kutengeneza nguo kupunguza shughuli zake hadi asilimia hamsini. Jambo hili na pia ushindani kutokana na nguo zinazotengenezwa na nyuzi za nailoni, nguo kuku na kupungua kwa faida kutokana na uzalishaji duni wa pamba, yote ni mambo yaliyokuwa pigo kubwa kwa uzalishaji wa pamba na viwanda vya nguo. It is unfortunate that the, when the textile company collapsed in Kenya, uh, many cotton growers, of course, stop growing cotton. And therefore, uh, we don't really have enough cotton locally. We only get around 10,000 uh, bells per year from local manufacturers or growers of cotton. Hata hivyo, kuna tumaini kufuatia hatua zilizo chukuliwa ili kufufua sekta ya pamba na nguo ambayo wakati moja ilikuwa dhabiti na kakamavu mno. Tumefanya mengi kuhakikisha hata viwanda ambavyo vilikuwa vimefungwa kama Rivertex kiwanda cha kutengeneza magari kule fika vimefufuliwa na ndio tuweze kuhakikisha watu wetu wako na kazi Serikali ya Kenya imo makini kabisa kutumia soko la hapa nchini kuongeza mapato kutokana na sekta ya viwanda vya nguo Lengo kuu ni kuafikia mapato ya shilingi milioni 800 na kuruhusu watengenezaji wa nguo kuuza hadi asilimia 20 ya bidhaa zao katika soko la hapa nchini chini ya mpango wa nunua Kenya jenga Kenya. Hii 20% ambayo tulikuwa tumesema ya kwamba tutaruhusu wawe wanauza katika taifa la Kenya. Tunataka tuiongeze hata ifike 40% na ndio hawa waweze kuajiri wa Kenya zaidi na badala ya wakenya kuwa wanavaa mitumba wawe wananunua nguo mpya ambazo zimeundwa katika taifa lao la Kenya Kampuni ya Rift Valley Textile Limited al maarufu Rivertex ambayo ndio kampuni ya pekee ya utengenezaji nguo inayomilikiwa na serikali imepata shida nyingi hapo awali na mwishowe kuanguka na kufunga shughuli zake kabla ya kuanguka Rivertex ilikuwa inaongoza katika kanda la Afrika Mashariki kwa kutengeneza nguo bora zaidi tangu mwaka wa 2015 Serikali ya Rais Kenyatta imewekeza mamilioni ya pesa kufufua kiwanda hiki ambacho sasa kimekuwa kikiboresha mitambo yake kuwa ya kisasa. Since 2015, the government has started realizing the importance of river tax and has put in more money from the from the treasury through Ministry of Industrialization. At the same time also uh, in 2016, government also went ahead and gave us some uh, loan from Indian Exim Bank, which was signed by the two heads of state, the Prime Minister of India and uh, our, our Excellency the President. So since then, we have seen a great progress in modernizing the factory. 
uh, as we speak now, we shall have the largest production unit in the spinning department. We shall have 16,800 uh, spindles, which uh, other institutions here don't have. So I'm very happy to be part of this, and I think we are moving so much ahead uh, to modernize the place so that we also reduce our importation. Shughuli za kampuni hiyo ni pamoja na kutengeneza nyuzi kutokana na pamba, kutengeneza magola ya nguo na ushonaji wa mavazi na nguo mbalimbali. Ukunia ya utengenezaji bidhaa ni kubuni ya jira usimamizi wa Rivertex unaamini kwamba mara tu juhudi za kuboresha mitambo kuwa ya kisasa itakapomalizika katika wiki chache zijazo kiwanda hicho kitafungua milango yake kwa vijana wengi kuajiriwa. We need more people so that they are going to operate the machine, the machines. Let's assume, let me just give an example. Let's assume we had two machines, but now we have acquired about four of them. Then it means that employment will double. We have st students from various colleges, polytechnics, youth polytechnics, uh, even universities, and uh, they are in interns here, and also there are some in attachment. Right, right now we have from NYS, we have from Kiambu, we have from Kisum Polytechnic, Kisi Polytechnic and various other colleges. One of the main agenda for manufacturing is job creation. Uh, Rivertex currently has uh, 750 employees. We are going to move to 2,500 employees uh, when we finish modernization. So we shall gradually be increasing the number of employees as we produce, as we run the factory 24 hours. Uh, and, and we look at the backward, we will have employing 40,000. Uh, people, that is people who are working in the growing sector of cotton. Uh, right now we are sensitizing cotton in 22 counties that can grow cotton. At the same time also we are helping them to give them seeds and some pesticides for them to, to as a way of motivating them to grow back the cotton again. Kiwanda hiki cha Rivertex kimepewa jukumu la kutengeneza sare za polisi. Itafanya kampuni hiyo kufanikiwa kupunguzia serikali gharama ya kununua sare hizo huku serikali kimarisha juhudi za nunua Kenya jenga Kenya Kiwanda cha nguo cha Dhika kiliweza kusimama imara na kukabiliana na mawimbi ya uchumi huru Kufuatia kudorora kwa sekta ya nguo hapa nchini kililazimika kuondosha wafanyikazi kadhaa ili kuzuia mkasa wa kukifunga kabisa Wasimamizi wa kampuni hiyo sasa wanatumaini kwamba kufuatia mwamko mpya katika sekta hii ya nguo sasa wataweza kubuni ajira zaidi. This as it goes on there's something that is going to give our country a job creation that is so big because textile industry as it is is a labor intensive uh, industry right from the cotton growing and up to the garment manufacturing the fashion industry and all that. For the cotton industry, that's where we mostly would want to be their biggest market. We are supporting over 22,000 uh, farmers. That's directly. And indirectly, they could be much, much more than that. Shabiki mkubwa harakati za nunua Kenya, jenga Kenya. Tijala na sisimka kwamba mara ya kwanza tangu kuanzishwa. Kiwanda hiki kimepata fursa ya kufanya biashara na serikali. Many a times we've talked of buy Kenya, build Kenya, we've sung a song and uh, we've asked our government to buy Kenya, build Kenya, to start being one of our core customers and uh, this year it has actually happened and suddenly NYS has given us an amazing order for Kenya police. And it is happening, and I believe local manufacturers has, have been given the police tender from uh, NYS, and we are all really, really excited to be making these materials. There is a lot of excitement everywhere. Actually, if you talk to a worker here at Thika Cloth Mills, he's excited. If you talk to me, I'm over the moon, and this change is, is something which is going to do amazing things. Kutokana na makampuni ya nchi za kigeni kutaka bidhaa za nguo kutoka Kenya, sekta hii imeanza kufufuka kwa haraka na sasa inaelekea kunawiri na kuimarika kufuatia harakati za serikali za nunua Kenya jenga Kenya. With the recent advertisements and presidential directives, 
we are seeing some improvement. In, in the involvement of the government, a lot of officers have come here, they have seen our fabric, they have analyzed and they have checked, and there is some uh, hope that now we are going to get some orders from the government. And we are expecting that one will boost us to at least start maintaining the labor force and increasing a little bit. Bali na hali ya matumaini na kunawiri kwa sekta hii, Kenya bado inapambana na jinamizi la gharama kubwa ya uzalishaji. Gharama ya stima ni mojawapo wa changamoto hizo ingawa gharama hiyo inatarajiwa kupungua kufuatia agizo la Rais Kenyatta la kupunguzwa kwa malipo hayo. Vile vile Kenya ina upungufu wa malighafi kama pamba hali ambayo hulazimisha watengenezaji nguo kuagiza malighafi kutoka nchi za kigeni ili kukidhi mahitaji ya wateja wao. The challenges we are facing from farmers mostly they are they are mixing uh, the cotton they don't grade well they mix in stores so when we collect, we collect from the farmers we find that the seed cotton is mixed up they 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 spoil grading. Mashariki mwa Kenya inakumbwa na upungufu wa mvua mara kwa mara na kusababisha ukosefu wa mavuno mashambani na hatimaye chakula. Hata hivyo Waekezaji wanatumia kilichopo kukimu maisha ya wakazi wa kaunti za Makueni, Kitui na kwingineko nchini. Kiwanda cha pamba cha Kitui kilichoanzishwa mwaka wa 1935 kimekuwa kikishirikiana na wakulima katika kaunti hiyo na kwingineko. Kiwanda hiki kutayarisha pamba na kuuzia viwanda vya nguo na vile vile kutengeneza bidhaa zingine kwa matumizi yake. Katika kijiji cha Katumbu, kaunti ya Kitui, tunakutana na Wini Muvea. Mkulima wa pamba ambaye kwa miaka mingi amevuna zao kubwa la pamba katika shamba lake la ekari nne. Hata hivyo, anasema kwamba ukulima wa pamba sio rahisi. Kenya pamba iko na nini? Iko na kazi ngumu sababu Unaweza panda pamba na kama una una, una mapato mzuri itaripika juu una pesa ya ndao. Sasa ile kitu niliona wakati nilipanda mara ya kwanza nilinua kuku kumi. Nikaweka. Sasa hizo kuku sikazana wakati nilipanda mara ya pili sikutezeka sana na dawa. Nilikuwa nauza kuku wakati pamba inataka dawa. Nauza kuku na nunua ndao. Hivyo hivyo na nikavau. Maoni yake yanaungwa mkono na bwana William Mutisia, mwenyekiti wa kundi la wakulima wa pamba wa eneo hilo. Ndao ndio si shida pambu. Kwa sababu mtu anaweza kupata ndawa na pambu ana. Apate pambu na ndawa ana. Makosa shita yangu ni ndawa. Ndawa ndio muhimu sana kwa kufanya hii kazi. Ukikoza ndawa mambo always kuja mzuri kupitia kwa halmashauri ya kilimo na chakula idara ya mazao yenye nyuzi serikali imekuwa ikisaidia wakulima kukabiliana na changamoto hizo kuhakikisha wamezalisha zao bora na kwa kiasi kikubwa we are looking into modalities in which we can spa uh, production of cotton because that is the basic idea when we can if we manage to improve on production what comes from the farmer into the ginning facilities then definitely we are going to see most counties uh, realizing the full potential they, they possess in terms of cotton production hata hivyo barasa litoa wito kwa watengenezaji bidhaa kutumia kikamilifu uwezo wote wa wakulima wa pamba akisema hapo ndipo yote huanza through our office in collaboration in close uh, consultation with our national office We are trying to engage our farmers at the grassroots level. We are doing a lot of sensitizations, uh, a lot of promotions and there are so many other incentives that through our office the government is giving to ensure that we improve on the quantities delivered to our genus and also to our the textile industries. Kufufuliwa kwa sekta ya nguo hapa Kenya ni ufunguo wa ustawi wa kiuchumi wa nchi hii na kuna umuhimu wa kuhimiza wa Kenya kushiriki katika ukulima wa pamba ili kukimu mahitaji ya malighafi katika soko la humu nchini.
Katika juhudi za kukuza harakati za nunua Kenya jenga Kenya, Rais Kenyatta pia anahimiza wafanyabiashara wa nguo kuku kuuza zilizotengenezwa Kenya kuliko za mataifa ya kigeni. Badala ya kuunda nguo hapa tunaziweka kwa meli zinakwenda zinavawa na mzungu mzungu akishamaliza nazo zinarudishwa kwa meli ati ndio sisi tukuje tuvae tuwataka kuvaa nguo mpya ambazo zimetengenezwa na wakenya wenzetu na ziwe zimeundwa kwa bei nafuu utengenezaji wa bidhaa kama moja wapo ajenda kuu ya nguzo nne za maendeleo utaleta mabadiliko makubwa katika sekta ya ajira Huku shirika la watengenezaji bidhaa likifanya kazi na serikali za kaunti na biashara ndogo na za kadri. Katika miaka iliyopita kupitia kwa maeneo ya kutengeneza bidhaa za kuuza nchi za kigeni EPZ, Kenya imetengeneza nguo kwa niaba ya makampuni makubwa zaidi ulimwenguni. When we uh, look at our uh, look at our brands, we are doing uh, we are doing uh, Tommy Hilfiger Uh, Calvin Klein, Isot, uh, and, uh, and Wrangler, Lee, uh, and uh, Jockey also. Hela Intimate ni moja wapo wa makampuni iliyoanzishwa hapa Kenya mwaka wa 2016 na iliyopo katika maeneo ya kutengeneza bidhaa za kuuza nchi za kigeni. Kampuni hii imeuza zaidi ya nguo milioni tatu katika soko la Marekani. Baadhi ya makampuni hayo ni Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger na mengineo. Viwanda wetu vya EPZ. Waweze kuwa na nafasi ya kuuza nguo ambazo wanatengeneza katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na tuliona juzi juzi Wakati tulifanya show ya kwanza na tunataka kuzisambaza katika kila kona ya Kenya. Zaidi ya wakenya hamsini waliingia katika Kenyatta Conference Center hapa kununua nguo mpya ambazo zimetengenezwa na wakenya hapa kwa bei nafuu. Kampuni ya Hela Intimate huajiri zaidi ya vijana elfu nne bila kubagua watu waliolemaa. Tunakutana na Yunis Wangari, mfanyikazi wa Hela Intimate. Wangari alijiunga na kampuni hii mwezi wa Julai mwaka wa 2018 na amelemaa. Wasimamizi wa kampuni hii walimruhusu Mkalimani ili kumrahisishia Wangari kufanya kazi na kushirikiana na wenzake. For me I feel very good working in Hela. Why? Because Hela is very important for for me. For example, me I'm a deaf and being a deaf I'm working same people with hearing. Example, we have an interpreter in Hela, meaning communication it's easy. Meaning deaf and hearing we are the same meaning we, we are not discriminated. Bila vile kampuni ya Hela Intimate kama makampuni mengine upata changamoto za ukosefu wa malighafi na kulazimishwa kununua kutoka kwa mataifa ya kigeni ili kutosheleza mahitaji ya wateja wao. Competitive uh, compar comparatively other the price of it other countries the Kenyan Kenya can the fabric in Kenya is little higher. So we are unable to uh, meet the uh, customer price if we get fabric from Kenyan uh, Kenya fabric mills that's why uh, the thing is uh, when the cost is too high we are unable to uh, meet the uh, meet the uh, world price with that cost ama kweli ili kufanikisha viwanda vya nguo nchini mengi yanafanywa na serikali na shirika la watengenezaji bidhaa nchini ili kuongeza manufaa kwa wakulima wa pamba watengenezaji bidhaa za nguo hadi wateja wa nguo na bidhaa zingine. Hivyo basi, serikali inatoa wito kwa wakenya wote wazalendo kufanikisha harakati za nunua Kenya. Jenga Kenya.